led better lessons. Okay, so in this video, we're going to go into depth of the if block. So these are things that you're going to use in all kinds of programming. Once you go into more advanced programming languages, you, you use the if and, uh, and different loops and things like that. So with the if, as we mentioned, it will only execute the blocks inside of it if whatever we put in this little hexagon is true. So just for testing purposes, we can go here to operators and you'll see that there's blocks that are shaped the same as this, this little hexagon. So any of these are called Boolean blocks. And a Boolean just returns a true or a false. So with this block here, say we put a one in that side and a one in this side. So what's, what this will do is you can ask yourself, does one equal one? Yeah, that's true, it does. So if that's in here, then the code inside will execute. So let's put in our motion. We've, we've used the change Y before. So when I click this, it's gonna execute the F and because it's true, it runs. But now if I change that to zero, now does zero equal one? No. That's false, right? So this won't get executed. So if I click the if to run it, nothing happens. So what it does is it skips this and comes down here to this bottom block, or continues on past the if statement. So let's put a, a change X by 10 down here. So you notice whenever I click it, it'll move to the right, but it won't actually change Y. See? So it just skips down and it runs this code below. But if it is true, well, then it will run the code inside of it and then it'll continue on below it as well. So I'll click the if and it should go up on a diagonal to the upper right. See? So he's changing his y by, by 10 going up and he's changing his x by 10 going that way. So that's basically how the if statement works. And uh, yeah, so we'll do a couple more videos and we'll get back into our Palm game.